gaming on mobile has been improving at a far greater rate than any technology that came before it. Android games seem to hit new heights every year. With the release of Android Nugget and Vulkan API, it only stands to get better and better over time. It won't be long before mobile sees some even more impressive titles than we have now. Without further delay, here are the best Android games available right now. Number 10. Fallout Shelter was released in 2015 to fantastic fanfare and generally positive reviews. In this game, you must build a Fallout Shelter, roll credits, populate it with people, and then manage everything so that it runs well. You'll have to send dwellers out into the wastelands for supplies and fend off bad guys trying to kill everybody. You can make babies, create entire communities, and all kinds of stuff. It has substantial depth and it's a game you can easily play for months before you even realize it has in-app purchases. Number 9. The Geometry Wars series has quite a sizable fanbase and has been consistently described as one of the most enjoyable indie games ever made. Geometry Wars 3 continues that proud tradition by introducing 3D maps constructed out of various shapes to make the game more challenging. It features 100 levels, 12 battle modes, and it's all played over 15 3D grids. As per the norm, you'll have super abilities and all of the HD, colorful explosions that your brain can handle. $9.99 may seem pricey for a mobile game, but there are also no in-app purchases. Number 8. Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft flew onto the scene in late 2014 and it's been one of the best Android games ever since. It's a concept that is similar to games like Pokemon or Magic, the gathering where you collect cards, build decks, and the duel other players using those decks. There are some offline components but the game is pretty much always online. You can also engage with cloud saving via battle.net which will allow you to play the game on your PC or mobile device interchangeably. It has new expansions coming frequently and that helps keep things fresh. Number 7. Minecraft is a popular game all around the world for people of all ages. For those who have never played, Minecraft puts you in a giant world where you mine stuff, build stuff, beat up bad guys, and do pretty much whatever you want. There is a survival mode where you must mine your own resources and food along with a creative mode that gives you unlimited everything. Frequent updates have added tons of new content and possibilities. It's a mainstay when it comes to Android games and it also has no in-app purchases. Number 6. Pokemon Go exploded onto the mobile gaming scene in July 2016 and immediately became of the best Android games ever. It's an augmented reality game similar to Ingress where you walk around the real world, catch Pokemon, battle for gyms, and hit up Pokestops to restock on items. It beat virtually every record in the books in a relatively short order. The game has had a history of server issues and they're still tinkering with various mechanics, but if you can get past that, this is a special game. Future updates will add more Pokemon, change up the mechanics, and more over time. Number 5. The Riptide GP games are perhaps the best racers available in all of Android gaming. The latest title is Riptide GP Renegade. In this one, You'll play as a racer who loses their credentials after getting caught in an illegal street race. You'll battle your way back to the top from there. The game features good graphics, simple controls, fun tricks, and a boost system to help you gain an edge. Perhaps the best part about Renegade is that it's a pay-once game so there are no ads and no in-app purchases to screw things up. In fact, all three games in the series so far have been pay-once, Although Riptide GP2 does have optional in-app purchases if you want to max out your stuff faster, which you can do yourself with a bit of grinding. Number 4. Rockstar Games has a fairly decent selection of games. Some of them are ports and others are made for mobile titles. On the port side of things, you have classic games like Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. 
Topping that off is Bully, an open world adventure game that revolves around a school student. They also have Max Payne Mobile, GTA, Liberty City Stories, and GTA, Chinatown Wars. Rockstar has always had a good reputation for creating fun, open world games and that holds true on mobile as well. Number 3. Roller Coaster Tycoon is a port of the classic PC game from way back when. It's one of one of the few simulation games that isn't riddled with in-app purchases. For those who don't know, the game will have you building amusement parks. You must design each park, build roller coasters, set up shops, and figure out ways to bring people in, keep them happy, and keep spending their money. The original purchase comes with the entire base game along with Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Additional DLC packs are available as in-app purchases. Number 2. Square Enix is one of the few big-name developers that took mobile gaming seriously from the start and they have some of the best Android games available anywhere. Fans of RPG games have remakes of Final Fantasy 1, 7 and 9, 7 Dragon Quest games, Chrono Trigger, and the Chaos Rings series to play and they're all really good. Hitman, Sniper, the original Tomb Raider, Deus Ex Go, and Lara Croft go round out a decent selection of puzzle games. You have Heaven Strike Rivals and Final Fantasy Tactics, Wattle for tactical RPGs, Secret of Mana for an action RPG, and the Deus Ex series for strategy shooter enthusiasts. Even their freemium efforts, such as Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and Mobius Final Fantasy are pretty good. Number 1. Unkid is the latest zombie shooter from Madfinger Games, the same developers that brought us such Android games as Dead Trigger 2 and Shadow Gun. In fact, Unkid has replaced Dead Trigger 2 as the best zombie shooter on Android right now. It features great graphics, over 300 missions to complete with boss fights, various weapons and things to unlock and upgrade online PvP mode and the graphics get even better if you're using a Tegra X1 device. Yes, it's a freemium game but it's a definitely a good one. Thanks for watching. If we miss any of the best Android games, tell us about them in the comments. Make sure you smash the subscribe button and never miss a new video from us. See you soon.